So recently there's this big Discord scam going around and I already made a video informing people on, you know, spreading awareness and also how to get their accounts back. But in this video, I actually wanted to investigate the scam even further and answer some questions about Discord's fake QR code scam. So just as a recap, people have been receiving this message from their friends or from random people on Discord that say, oh, you sent illicit photos to someone and you've been exposed on the server. They're using social engineering and fear to make someone join the server. When you join the server, you'll actually actually get some bot saying that you need to verify. Now, this bot could actually be impersonating Wick or Dino or any other bot, but the main thing is that they tell you to verify so you can see the channels. So you click on verify me and it'll say, are you a human? Let's find out. And it'll tell you to scan this QR code on your Discord mobile application. Or let's say you were engineered to scan a QR code in a different way, like, hey, you've been gifted Nitro, scan this QR code. So, my first question, what happens when the code is scanned? Well, when you scan this code, you get token logged, and basically the scammer will get your token, which is kind of like the keys to your Discord account. When you have someone's Discord token, you don't need their username, their password, or their two-factor authentication to log in. Now, what these scammers do is they automatically harvest your email, your phone number, whether or not you have two-factor authentication enabled. If you have Nitro, when your Nitro expires, Another thing they can figure out is they can actually figure out your home address, your first name, your last name, your phone number, and some parts of your credit card or your PayPal email. But how do they get your billing information? Well, it's actually readily available on Discord. If you click on settings, then you go to billing, then you'll see your PayPal or your credit card if you have one on file. And if you just click on it, you'll notice that it drops down and you now have your address showing, your first name, your last name, your phone number all this really fun stuff that the scammer can use. They'll actually just buy Discord Nitro gifts slowly on the account, which is just kind of draining your credit card, and send it to different accounts, or they'll sell it to people on some sort of black market and make money. And finally, the last thing that these scammers do is they actually just want to reach out to more people. They want to spread it like a virus. So what they'll do is they'll actually direct message your friends and anyone with the same message that you got. And believe it or not, it's actually really easy to set up because it's just a setting in an application. You can turn it off. You can send it to all current users' DMs, everyone's friends, or their current DMs and friends. And you can have your own custom message. So if people don't believe, oh, you sent illicit photos, it could say your Discord account is going to be disabled. You need to join the server and verify your account. And that's how the scam spreads. Now, my second question is, who's behind this scam? Well, I can't specifically say, oh, yes, Tommy's behind this specific scam and Billy is behind this specific scam because that's just hard information to find out. However, there is one thing that I did figure out. The people that are using this scam didn't code it themselves. They actually used a publicly available repository. Now, let me start off by saying that if you use this Discord bot to scam people, you're a piece of garbage. It's that straightforward. There's no debating that. Regardless, this guy made this fake verification bot that basically creates a verification QR code. They scan the QR code and you get their token and their information. Now, scrolling down, one thing really caught my eye with this GitHub project and that this bot was made for educational purposes and this project was created only for good purposes and personal use. I'm no rocket scientist. I'm no ethics expert. But I can confidently say that stealing money from people through a scam and feeling that you're entitled to other people's hard-earned money is not a good purpose. What a revolutionary mindset that I have here. And I personally think, once again, this is opinion, I personally think that the person who developed this bot is also using their own bot to scam people. I, uh, you'd have to be an idiot to assume that they're not using this to scam people, especially if they're releasing this for free. This is publicly available. Anyone can get this and scam people. So my next question is, what is Discord doing about this? Is the scam over? Well, no. Basically, this scam here, the one that I showed in the video, it has been banned, but the scam's not over because once again, there's many other servers and specifically, if you do get your server banned, I'm gonna show you how quick it is to restart the bot and make a new bot and make a new server. So let's say my server got banned, my banned server. All I need to do is just create a new server and I can use a scamming server template that I have somewhere so all this process gets automated. So once I make my fancy new scam server, I need to make my fancy new scamming bot. So all I need to do is just go to my developer portal. I need to create a new application. This is scam bot v2.1.3 whatever 
and then click create, very straightforward name. Then what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to bot, click add bot, yes do it. Oh, that's my bot anyways, I'm gonna turn on a couple things, I mean pretty straightforward, click save changes, go to OAuth, UR generator, go to bot, application commands, administrator, copy this link. Then all I need to do is just paste this bot in. Oh, oh, my scam bot v2, just add it to, uh, it's one of these servers. Man, I should have just figured out which one it is and not made it the default name. So anyways, now the scam bot's actually in my server. So then all I need to do is I just need to copy the bot's token, which is really straightforward. Then I just need to go to a configuration file, which will look like this, and it says bot token. All I need to do is just replace the bot token, paste that in. This log channels ID, I just need to, once again, go back to my Discord server. Let's just say this is my logs channel. Just right click, copy ID, go back to the code, paste it in here, and that's it. Yeah, it's it's that easy. It would took me less than five minutes. It would take, you know, anyone less than five minutes to recover from a banned, you know, scam server and a, a banned bot to just make a new server and a new bot. It's not that difficult. And that's why these scams keep popping up because Discord can't knock them down fast enough. And the last question I really want to answer is, how do we stop this scam? And as an individual, there's not much we can do. We can spread awareness by, you know, letting our friends know that they should not scan any QR code on Discord and, you know, let people know in servers and stuff and spread awareness. And if there is a server that is scamming someone, you can go to Discord's white page of pain, the trust and safety report form, and fill it out and send it to Discord. And this will expedite the process and make these servers get banned quicker. And if a whole bunch of people are dedicated to getting these servers banned, then it'll discourage scammers because, you know, they'll only have like two or three days where their server's up before it gets banned. But in reality, stopping the scam is in the hands of Discord. I personally think that Discord should revamp their QR code system. They should have a bigger and more clear warning about how QR codes are bad, just the shorter the better. And also I think Discord should have a timer before you can click this button here. For example, if you have a 10 second timer where people can't click the log me in button, it'll encourage people to actually read the warning instead of just completely ignoring it and clicking yes log me in. This needs to be more clear, more bold, bigger, very evident that you can be scammed. Now, here comes my more political and not so perfect solutions. So these are very opinionated and you might not agree with me, but I just want to put it out there. This is a very political uh, problem and it requires a very complex solution. There is no simple solution. The first thing I think Discord should do is try to take down these GitHub pages. Now, I don't know how they're going to do that, but just the public availability of these bots is ridiculous. You could go on Google right now, you could find this exact bot, and within two and a half hours of struggling through it, you could have your own scam server. Now, this is the more radical solution, but I think Discord should sue big scammers. I think they should make the risks more heavy and more life-changing. For example, if little Timmy wanted to scam on Discord, he can make $5,000 every couple days or $50,000 a month, whatever number you want to keep in mind. And what happens when his account gets banned? Well, he just gets banned. That's it. Timmy doesn't lose that money. Timmy doesn't get sued. Timmy doesn't go to jail. Timmy just gets his Discord account banned. Now, if I had the opportunity, if someone paid me $50,000 to delete my Discord account, oh, oh, I definitely would. I mean, who wouldn't, right? There's not a lot of risk to doing this, and I think if Discord sued someone, then it makes the risk a lot more. For example, there was this one YouTuber who was exploiting YouTube's copyright system, and Bungie decided, well, this is ridiculous. People are just abusing the copyright system, and they're not getting in trouble for it. The only risk was, I don't know, getting your YouTube account banned. But Bungie big-brained this bad boy and sued the one guy who was creating copyright strikes for $7 million. The risk now is not getting your YouTube account banned, it's getting sued for $7 million. It's a very life-changing risk, and now people are discouraged from making fake copyright strikes on Destiny YouTubers. And the same thing would go with Discord. If Discord sued one of these big scammers for a big amount and made it public and made it widely available and well known that if you scam on Discord, you are going to get sued for a massive amount of money, then little Timmy will be thinking, hmm, I could make $5,000, but I could also be sued for $7 million. I'm not going to scam people anymore. Just, it's just basic common sense. There's no risk. Right now, there's no risk and there's so much reward. The only thing you have to compete with is your ethics and other scammers. It's, there's literally no actual tangible risk.
of scamming people right now as it stands. So the power of stopping this scam is in Discord's hands and they really need to figure that out quick. Anyways, in essence, this is the Discord QR code scam. Uh, hopefully it was somewhat insightful or maybe entertaining or just, you know, enjoyable to watch. Anyways, a little serious towards the end. Maybe I'm a bit angry. I'm going to go take a walk outside and burn off some steam. I love you, sweetheart. Mm -hmm.